I will show you the trolls appearance, spawning, drops, weapons, armors and also how to fight them in this video. Welcome to another video on the Ice and Fire mod. Today we're going to look at trolls. If you haven't downloaded this mod, there is a download link in the description as well as a link to the Ice and Fire wiki about trolls, where you can find pretty much everything about the troll. So make sure you check that out. Alright, let's start with the showcase. Trolls are beasts that hide in caves and relentlessly attack any explorers looking to mine ores. And first we're going to look at their appearance. Trolls are large monsters with small eyes that glow in the dark, tusks next to their lower jaw and large nose, as well as a giant weapon in their hand. They come in three different variants. The first one is the forest troll. It has greenish gray skin, has yellow eyes and wears a brown loincloth. The second one is the mountain troll. It has gray skin, has yellow eyes and wears a brown loincloth. The third one is frost troll. It has light bluish gray skin and white hair covering its shoulders and scalp, has blue eyes and wears a brown loincloth. Trolls will spawn deep underground in either forest, mountain or snowy tundra biomes, with each variant spawning in their respective biomes. Next we are going to look at their drops. Loot from troll depends on what kind of troll it is and what weapon it is holding. All trolls will drop troll tusk and troll leather corresponding to what kind of troll they are. As well as this, they have a 2.5% chance of dropping a troll skull. Along with this, they have a chance to drop the weapon they are holding, which can be the following. The troll's axe, troll's hammer, troll's tree trunk, the troll's stone column, the troll's mossy column, the Trolls Frosted Tree Trunk and the Trolls Frosted Column. Finally, all Trolls will drop stone of any kind, like cobblestone, stone bricks, etc. And also sticks and bones, while other minor drops are restricted to some Trolls. The Forest Troll will drop mushrooms and oak wood, the Mountain Troll will drop emeralds, and frost trolls will drop snow walls, sapphires and spruce wood. Because there are so many different drops and it can get a little confusing, I will display each troll with all its drops right now. Now we're going to look at their weapons. As you can see here, these weapons take a while to reload, but they do a lot of damage. The attack damage is 16, but the attack speed decreases by 3.5. There is no legendary weapon you can craft out of the trolls drops. These weapons are the legendary drops. You can also enchant these weapons. What you can craft out of troll drops are troll armors. There is an armor for every kind of troll, the forest, frost and mountain troll armor. In this light they all kind of look the same but they have slightly different shades as you can see on the right. Finally we have come to the behavior. Trolls are naturally hostile to players and villagers. Once a troll sees its target it will let out a loud roar and come rushing at the player. When attacking, trolls often strike downwards with their weapon, dealing 5 hearts of damage with each hit. They are also known to do a sideways swipe with their weapon, dealing massive knockback to their preys. 
If a troll encounters an unavoidable obstacle while chasing down a target, it will smash the obstacle to bits with its weapon. And with the troll's thick hide, it makes arrows useless against it. If a troll is exposed to direct sunlight, it will turn to stone, like any mob with the Gorgon curse. A stone troll statue can be broken with a pickaxe and delivers 2-5 to five pieces of cobblestone once broken. Due to this, trolls will never leave caves or any shady areas during the day. And here comes the important part, the combat. Since arrows are ineffective against trolls, it is suggested that one should wear decent armor and carry a hard-hitting weapon before fighting a troll. The best way to take on a troll is to lure it out of a cave during the night and sprint away from its strike, run back to land a hit on it and repeat until it dies. What you also can do is use a shield to block its strikes. Alternatively, one can let the troll chase them around until the sun rises and watch it turn to stone. But if you use this method, you will not get any valuable drops. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you got the information you needed. If you got any corrections, make sure to leave a comment. I will see you guys next week with another showcase. Bye guys.